Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to put a, it's going to be headlight replacement on my 2014 GMC Sierra, but we're going to put LEDs in instead of normal incandescent bulbs. Um, I'm going to roll a clip here. Um, as you can see while I'm driving, they, the headlights suck. Fog lights act more like a high beam. High beams came until I turn them on. So we're going to fix that today. All right, there's my low beams. Pretty, pretty dim. It probably looks better on camera than what it actually is. High beams, can't even tell a freaking difference. And the fog lights actually make it look brighter. Which, I mean, yeah, they're going to, but I expect my headlights to be able to do a sufficient job. All right, stick by to the end of the video if you want to see how these uh, Xenon Pro uh, headlights, how much brighter they are than the uh, OE uh, headlights. So again, that's going to be at the end of the video, so watch the whole thing and see you at the end and let me know down below if you notice a difference. All right, it's in on my 4T65, but here's what we're going to here's what we're going to put in. Uh, the website I believe is Xenon Pro. I did a lot of research. Um, these had really really good reviews. Um, the biggest selling point for me, I've seen other people with LEDs and they and they just quit working. Uh, this company has a lifetime warranty on the bulbs, um, the electronics, everything for it has a lifetime warranty. So if one of these goes out, I can just take this off. I don't know if I have to mail it in. I haven't got that far yet. If if I need to mail it in first to send me one, or if I just contact them, they send me one, I mail it back. Um, but we're gonna swap them out. I'm gonna put the other bulbs since they work fine in here. So if one of these goes, I can just swap another bulb in or swap both back in. But uh, bulb, fan, and then it recommended being a GMC since everything's electronic. Uh, Anti-flicker. Pretty much I've seen trucks in that with LEDs that they'll actually just kind of, they won't stay, they won't be a steady beam. They'll just kind of have that like pulsy, weird flickeriness to them. So this is to eliminate that. Um, and the bulbs. Like I said, Xenon Pro. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the website. Um, I'll link them down in the description below. So um, let's get out to the truck and we will get these put in. Um, I'm hoping the audio is okay. It is windier than windy today. All of a sudden, for some reason, probably because I knew I was going to do a YouTube video. So we're going to get out there and we're going to get these swapped out. All right, we're going to do the uh, driver's side first. It's the one that's most straightforward. This cap, just rotate it counterclockwise. It'll come off. Now that's going to stay off. The LEDs need, uh, they have a fan on the need air for cooling. Um, what you can do is I just put a cup, like a bunch of paper towels over here. And the same with by the air box on the other side. And drove for a couple weeks to make sure they didn't pick up any water. Just to make sure I wasn't going to get water splashing in here. So, but once you do that, we can just pull the tab up to disconnect the electrical connector for the bulb. Right there, we'll set it off to the side. We'll twist this and pop it out. Now, I, ew, these bulbs look like crap. Anyways, they still work, so I'm gonna put them back in the package and throw them underneath the back seat. I have storage under there. Just that way if they the other ones go out, I have something I can put in. So now, we got that one out. We're gonna take the new bulb and we'll just slide it in and it only goes in one way there we go all right that one's in there and you can see we got all this stuff that comes out I think that's like a ballast or something to control it kind of like what, H what HIDs used to use but now we'll plug in the anti-flicker and then this is going to plug in with the stock um, plug-in all right it's plugged into the bulb there or plugged into the car there truck car not car truck I ran it over and then I just zip tied it with the hood release cable on this side to keep it tucked up out of the way so it's not just dangling free hanging so we're going to put this and the old bulb in the box and move to the other side 
All right, to do this side, we're gonna take the air box out. So to do that, we're gonna disconnect the uh, mass airflow sensor, pull the red tab up, and then pull the release. Take the Christmas tree off the air box, stuck that out of the way. Take an eight mil, loosen this hose clamp. And we'll slide this back and off. All right, once you got that disconnected, I tug it underneath. Then you can just grab the air box and pull it straight up and off. There's two rubber clips or rubber retainers there and there, there and there. And then there's this one, it's kind of a big Christmas tree style that goes there. And then you could literally just pull the box out of the way. And then now what we're gonna go for, a better way, there we go, is right behind here is where the bulb is. So I think what we're gonna do is take out that clip there and that clip there so we can fold this back. All right, once you got those out of the way, you just fold this down and now we can take this cap off and switch the bulb out just like the other side. All right, we got the bulb in, we got the cover back on it. Um, I just secured the wiring up to this little cross member. Now we're gonna install the air box and make sure that everything clears. All right, air box is back in, clamps tight, uh, mass airflow sensor hooked back up. Everything clears over here. Like I kind of figured it would, and there's a little bit of wiggle room so we could get that to fit. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside. We're gonna just go ahead and we need to start and flip the lights on or just flip the lights on, but we're gonna make sure that the lights are working before we do anything else. All right, lights are on. Well, yeah. it's supposed to be on, don't even work. All right, now we got them working. Um, one thing on these is they actually are polarity sensitive. So your positive needs to go to your positive, uh, negative to negative. Um, so on your stock wiring, you have like this reddish pink and your black, they need to go to red and black. Um, okay. uh, one thing I noticed is this side, once I got a once I got everything plugged in right, it was good. Well, no. I might do it to this side too. Um, you see the retaining tab here, if you can see it. The other side doesn't have it. So on the other side, I actually had to depin this and flip the wires around, which is probably what I'm gonna do this, because I could easily just unplug the headlight. So I did it to that side. I'm gonna do it to this side. But other than that, these things work. All right, there's both the caps, both the old bulbs back in the uh, box that the LED bulbs came in. I'm gonna throw this under the back seat. That way if I have any problems and I need to put back the old bulbs on the side of the road or something, I have them with me. All right guys, we got the headlights working. Um, I've cycled this a few times to see if I can get any more codes set. No codes set, both lights are working. Um, high beams, can't hear it, you can actually hear the uh, actually hear the bulbs like clicking into the high beam, which I'm assuming is just moving the internal bulb position, but not sure. Um, other than that, they work. I know at the end I was like, man, they don't work. Well, it's because they're polarity sensitive and the way they had the main, the connectors on the anti-flicker modules that plug into the factory wiring, the connector is backwards. So I actually had to deep in and flip that around to where when it fully seats, and locks the positive positive negative negative um so once you got those switched around uh everything works fantastic so if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh like subscribe comment and we will see you guys next time all right there's low beams with fog lights definitely brighter definitely High beams. Still can't really tell on the high beams, but they're definitely, uh, it's definitely brighter overall. Again, the truck is making it kind of hard to see a difference, but.